Hello, and welcome back to our Daily Games series. I've made a couple of behind-the-scenes changes that will hopefully slightly improve the, the quality of life experience when watching this series, and also, um, in general, across all the future content I make. I set up a... I downloaded Google Chrome, something I never thought I would do again after, like, 2015, 2016, when I abandoned ship, um, purely to set up, like, a streaming-only browser that I can use. Um, just, I mean, A, for privacy, even though I, there's nothing I really need, feel like I need to hide on my main browser, um, but it's just cleaner uh, to not have all my personal stuff scattered across the favorites bar and whatnot. Um, and then also, Google Chrome, unlike Edge and Firefox, the other two browsers I regularly use, um, when you move your mouse up to the top, it doesn't show the address bar and the favorites bar, which, again, doesn't really matter. It's just cleaner. Like, it's nicer to look at it that way. I don't have to worry about... Uh, the video suddenly like getting pushed down and everything changing position, blah, blah, blah. It just shows this nice little X. Um, and then also, I finally realized I should probably zoom in a little bit on some of these games. I think for most of them it doesn't really matter, but World All, I think, could benefit it from it a wee bit. And then I think Framed specifically could benefit from it a lot. I kind of feel bad that I haven't been zooming in on Framed, um, but from now on, I will be. Uh, so anyway, the, the rest of the series is the same. And why don't we dive right in? Uh, this one is pretty obvious. This is Portugal. Unless I'm being bamboozled. Um, and I don't really see how I could be. I'm not even going to put thought into it. I, if I'm bamboozled, I'll be very surprised. But, I mean, this this has to be Portugal. There's Galicia up here. The only thing I'm not 100% sure is, I don't remember there being this little bite taken out of the bottom left, but... I mean, it, it's, it has to be Portugal. Okay, thank God. Uh, cool. Moving on to global. Maybe also on Chrome, the globe won't break. Although, actually, now that I say that, I don't think it's broken like the last two days. So maybe it was just a weird bug that they fixed. Let's go in on... I wanna, we, so we've, ga we've guessed Spain recently. We guessed El Salvador I think we guessed Nepal recently as well. Let's go Cameroon. 2300, that's fairly close. Uh, that's closer than we were yesterday. Didn't we guess Brazil yesterday? I think. Um, so I think we have to be in Africa, because I, I think, you know, by the time you get here or here, Maybe it could be Brazil. Brazil, I think, is the only country outside of Africa that this could reasonably be. And even that, you know, if this was like Liberia or Senegal or Guinea or something, I could maybe see Brazil being 2,300 kilometers. I think from Cameroon, it's probably a little more than 2,300 kilometers. So I think we're in Africa. And from there, 2,300 kilometers is quite the distance. Let's Let's go down to like Mozambique. Further away. Okay. Let's go up to Morocco. 500 kilometers away. Okay, so we definitely could be in Europe. In fact, we're probably in Europe. Because I don't think anything down here could possibly be 2,300 kilometers away from Cameroon. I suppose we could be in, like, Libya. But, again, I don't think that's 2,300 kilometers away. So let's go Andorra. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was hoping... That would somehow work, but it did not. That's actually... Cameroon is closer than Andorra, so maybe it's not in Europe. Maybe it's... What? Okay. 535 kilometers from Morocco. This is a recurring theme. I'm a dumb American. I don't know how long a kilometer is, but surely nothing in West Africa or North West Africa is less than 2,300 kilometers from Cameroon. That would just blow my mind. Um, okay, so let's do my very rough math. You divide it by like 1.7, 1.8 to get it to miles. So, what was it? I already forgot the number. 2,300? So it's going to be like 1,300, 1,400 miles, something like that? It can't be. 
I, I suppose... Let's do 500 kilometers. Oh, they're counting Western Sahara as Morocco. That actually changes my calculus a little bit, because I was going to guess Senegal, because I could definitely buy that being 500 kilometers from Morocco's real borders, but I don't know that it's 500 kilometers from Western Sahara, which is not part of Morocco. It's not part of any country, um, despite what Morocco would have you believe. Um... Maybe it's more like Guinea. Let's go Guinea. Okay, it borders Guinea. So it could be Senegal. It could be Guinea-Bissau. It could be Sierra Leone. It could be Mauritania. Let's go Guinea-Bissau. Bissau. Um... Okay, it also borders Guinea-Bissau. That narrows, that gets rid of Sierra Leone and Liberia or whatever's done. I think this is Sierra Leone and this is Liberia. This is Ivory Coast. This is Ghana. This is Benin. This is Togo. This is Nigeria. This is Burkina Faso. So it can't be that. It's either Mauritania or Senegal. Let's go Senegal. It was Senegal. Okay, we spent a long time on that. Um, and also, because I switched to Chrome, all of our stats and all of our games are going to be gone. That was the other thing I wanted to mention. It's sad, but, you know, we only had, what, five days worth of stats, something like that, maybe even four. Um, and some of them, like Global, were corrupted by stats from, like, two months ago. Uh, so I think a, a fresh start could do us some good. So we got, in, we got it in seven. We'll try to get that average down. That's our highest over the last, like, three or four days. This... I want to say Whiplash, but of course there's lots of movies about music, and this doesn't look like... This This actually is not Whiplash, because this is not drum sheet music. This is like piano music, so maybe it's the piano. Maybe it's the pianist. Two movies I haven't seen. Um... But I'm going to, I'm going to, in homage to the 70 millimeter podcast, an absolute banger of a podcast. I encourage you to go listen to it, even though I skipped this episode because I haven't watched the piano yet. Uh, they recently did an episode on the piano like two weeks ago. And um, I'm going to go with the piano. Damn it. Okay. I'm, this, this is, this just makes me more confused. First of all, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. I don't know. I, I can't tell if it's the, just a low resolution image or if I'm zoomed in too much. But it's kind of stretched out. Plus, I would like to. This just looks like a cleaner image. We've got we've got our guesses down here. We've got whatever this is. It tells you we're using shot deck. I have no idea what this is. This could. be be anything um again i haven't seen this but i don't think that's what the penis looks like is this rocket man don't i i also haven't seen rocket man i feel like every time i play framed i'm just naming movies i haven't seen don't tell me this is rocket man it is rocket man okay that that's one of the worst images i've ever seen in my life I'm going to be honest with you. I've heard Rocket Man's actually pretty good. I skipped it because Bohemian Rhapsody was so bad uh, that I was just like, I'm never watching a like classic rock biopic again. I've heard Rocket Man is quite good, so I think that's unfair of me, and I, I should give it another try. Or give it a, a try. Um, excuse me. You have to like refresh to get your stats. There we go. Okay. I like that this one shows you where or how many guesses it took not all of the games do that um like i don't think actor roll does that when that's the one i care about the most okay oh this is just telling me how to play i was about to say are you having more what the hell why is why is this here oh it was what why was that there i'm confused Anyway, ancient Greek architecture orders, the Doric and Ionic, are now well-developed and practiced across Greece. Okay. Um, 
That doesn't help. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are built by Nebuchadnezzar. We're way the hell back there. Victorious over the Carthaginians in a naval battle, the Greeks of Phocia? Pho Phocia? Phoenicia? So are these the Phoenicians? Oh my god, you're not going to believe me. I swear I read like a snippet of a Wikipedia article that talked about, or maybe it was like a Reddit post? I don't know. I don't want to out myself as a Redditor. I try to limit my time on the hellscape of a website. Um, about Greece establishing the city of Marseille. So this is all ancient, ancient, ancient. This is like pre... Pre-500 BC, for sure. It, it could be pre-1000 BC. Let's go, like, 750. Okay, so we're within 550 to 950 BC. That's about where I expected us to be. So that feels good, that I at least had a somewhat accurate frame of reference here. Um, I think we might be... I think we, we might need to go a little further back. Let's do, like, 873. Okay, over 200 years, never mind. So actually, so now we have a pretty narrow range. We're between 550 and 673 BC. So let's do 629. We're within 40 years. So this has to be between 669 and 589. No, hold on. Yes, 673. Yeah, so this doesn't even overlap with that by four years. Um, again, this I, I talked about this last time. I think this is this is kind of where Hero like loses its appeal to me. Um, I might maybe try to find a better game to play instead of Yurtle. I want to keep it at five games because I want these videos to be rel relatively short. I can already tell we're going longer today than we have over the last three or four videos, which is upsetting to me. Um. I don't know. Like, there's just, like, if you, you either know it or you don't, there's no way for me to, like, make an educated guess here. I'm literally just blind guessing. Um, between 669 and 589, let's go, like, f 598. Okay, good guess. One to two years off. So between 600 and 596 BC, 599. 600 to 597. Okay, it's 600. Cool! We did it! I have defeated history, apparently. Don't do that. Alright, now we're here. Um, Alright, we'll start in 1989. 1989 comedy drama, 8.1. I feel like I should know what this is, but it's not immediately coming to me. The only thing I think of when I think of 1989 is Batman and Do the Right Thing. And Driving Miss Daisy, because that beat Do the Right Thing. Well, Do the Right Thing wasn't even nominated somehow. Um, Sci-fi thriller in 1997. Is this Gattaca? Will we be dealing with Ethan Hawke? Slash... A 1989 Ethan Hawke Dead Poet Society, D E A D P O E T S S O C I E T Y. Ethan Hawke is my go to answer when people ask me who my favorite actor is. Would this be um, before sunrise? And this would be before sunset? And this would be before midnight? And this would be first reformed? And this would be. What was he in last year? Is this the Black Phone? That movie's not out. B L A C K P H O N E. I think that's the Black Phone. That movie's not out. I, festival releases don't count. That business in Kato Nomodia doesn't doesn't count. We respect wide release dates here on Crouching Puma's YouTube channel. I also don't know what this would be. He's gonna be in The Northman. I'm seeing that in seven days. I'm very excited. Um, I mean, we know this is Ethan Hawke. Now we're just we're just scrolling around. Um, Training Day should be in here somewhere, right there. Um, he's been in lots of good stuff. I mean, he is the goat of goats, the king of kings. 
Um, I, I don't think I mentioned this. First Reformed, I said Ethan Hawke's my go-to answer when people ask me who my favorite actor is. First Reformed is my go-to answer when people ask me what my favorite movie is. Um, obviously, those are not set in stone. I don't, I don't really, th I think opinions, especially when it comes to art, um, ratings, reviews, general thoughts, whatever, it's impossible to have concrete uh like permanent opinions or not not even opinions is the word i'm looking for but like what is the what is the word i don't know but like you know what i mean like it's not set in stone like you can't have a list that never changes uh you can't even have like like i could i could say first reformed is my favorite movie i've been saying that for the last four years uh but that doesn't mean like my my individual thoughts about first reformed change on a hour by hour basis you know it doesn't mean i'm always thinking about first reformed but like that's why when i'm giving scores and reviews on letterboxd i i don't do half stars i actually use a, let, a letter grade system a b c d f um but letterboxd only uses stars so i have converted that to the star system where five stars is an a one star is an f etc etc and i don't view that as translatable to a numeric score so if i give a movie a b on letterboxd it says i gave it four stars but in my brain that's not how i think about it uh, that's like I, there are lots of movies I gave I've given a B to that I would not give four stars. I, I might give some of them higher than four stars. I might give some of them less than four stars. Um, I think I think trying to nail down something as ethereal and unknowable as your complete thoughts on art is is a waste of time um, and takes away from the enjoyment of the art itself. Anyway, I, I don't know why I'm talking about this. We still haven't guessed Ethan Hawke. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Still on a 100% success rate. Um, lifetime for me. Well, I was going to say, on our on, since I started doing this on YouTube, uh, I, I, I'm actually, I have, I have never gotten an act role wrong. The closest I ever got was Nicole Kidman, um, and I got her on my eighth and final guess. Um, and then, and that was, that was the first time I played act role. And so I was still kind of like figuring out what it was and I was I was going down the wrong rabbit hole ever since then. So that was the first time it took me eight tries. Since then I have not taken more than three tries on anyone. Um and that was Joseph Gordon Levitt, which you saw. So anyway, I apologize for the rambling. This has been our Daily Games series for April nineteenth. And if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps more than you could possibly know. And I will see you guys again next time.